Hi guys, it's Mitch Abiyo for Project Smile. Project Smile is a project that was started in Kenya with an aim of spreading awareness on mental health and suicide. So today we are outside and that's why you can hear all the background noises, but I would like you guys to ignore those sounds. Yeah, please ignore them. So anyway, today we are having a candid conversation on what's currently ongoing in the world. So we are in the middle of a pandemic and the last pandemic witnessed was about a hundred years ago the last pandemic witnessed was the spanish flu of 1918 to 1920. it lasted a solid two years but we have some things to our advantage that they didn't have back then we have technology meaning we are able to send news so fast we are able to communicate that something is not right for example we've been able to communicate that there is a mutation in the virus now of course saying there is a mutation in the virus is scary because we do not know whether the virus is becoming deadlier and deadlier and deadlier so of course i understand communicating certain things is scary but a mutation does not always mean it's going to be a deadlier form of the virus so i'd advise you guys to get your information from the right websites get your information from who cdc um that is world health organization and center for disease control also listen to your governments your governments are doing everything in their willpower to ensure um, the virus does not spread as much so yeah having the facts out of the way let's talk about you how are you during this time genuinely how are you and i know this is a question we tend to ask out of courtesy simply because that's how we've been conditioned you have to ask somebody how are you when you're talking to them but i want you to understand the gravity of this question we actually care when we ask this question of how are you so how are you guys doing how are you coping during this pandemic are you genuinely okay this pandemic has brought a lot of things to a halt. A lot of dreams to a halt. A lot of future plans to a halt. Be it a vacation you had planned, it's come to a halt. Whether it's school, it's come to a halt. Um, whether it was, you know, a summer program or an internship, a halt. And it's crazy how much one thing can affect all of us in different ways. For example, some of my plans have come to a halt. I was to visit my best friend um, of 11 years this year. She moved out of the country last year and I'm not going to lie, it did take a toll on me because I've known her for 11 years of my life and that's a lot. We've gone to the same schools. I have spent every moment. I've spent every moment with her and it's, it's crazy because I genuinely miss her a lot. And if you're watching this, I know she's going to be watching this. I love you so much. So yeah, that was a blow to me you know we were supposed to see each other we had planned all the things we would do because here's the thing i realized how many moments i took for granted when she moved out of the country i took the sleepovers for granted because we actually used to sleep over at each other's places i took the long long hours we would talk in person i would i took for granted i took the hugs for granted i took everything such small things for granted and i really really miss her a lot that doesn't mean I don't communicate with her. With the help of Instagram and WhatsApp and all that. Yeah, we talk. We talk quite a lot. We talk almost daily. She knows what's going on. But it's really not the same. I too had <laughs> programs of my own. And you know what? If you've been watching this channel since 2019, you know 2019 was not my year. 2019 was the year where I was like, you know what? I'm exhausted. I am tired. So yeah the fact that there was a prospect of me traveling to new york um for a summit was really really exciting i was excited i was beyond ecstatic about that i was like wow um this is this is amazing and i had other things in plan so it, it's crazy that um some of these things have been cancelled and you know we've been told oh it's postponed it's cancelled and all that so getting those emails it's a bit of a heartbreak because um 2020 didn't, is not living up to what it thought it, we thought it would be so that's that so i want to ask you how are you again 
some people come from toxic families and we have to admit that being african and kenyan we never want to admit the reality that we live in we don't want to admit that yeah yo my parents is toxic or my parent is abusive we really not, don't want to say that because we have been conditioned no matter what your parent is you can't cut them out of your life and i mean yes parents do play an essential role in our lives but that mindset that you tell somebody that you can't cut someone off simply because you're related to them is something very awful so the fact that there are students who are in university who have had to move back home to where they don't feel safe at home they feel unprotected they feel unloved they feel unworthy it's crazy it's a crazy time that they have to go back to the situation of being at home so yeah how are you it's it's really not an easy time you know the people who've lost jobs right now the people who are working home with half their salary the people who've lost loved ones to COVID-19 and to them my sincere condolences it's a crazy time out there for everyone it is you know we are experiencing the magnitude um, rather the the devastations of this virus in different magnitudes but all of us we are in this together and i know it's it's a cliche st- uh, statement when i tell you we are all in this together because they'll be like i don't understand your pain which is true to an extent because there are people who are excited to move out of the country this year you know maybe you are moving out of the country in march um may march april or may or maybe you're moving out of the country in september and your plans are like huh what's gonna happen and it's crazy because you don't have the answers to those questions you really don't you know um those who have chronic illnesses it's a weird time for them you know you are not able to see your doctors and all and it's weird because you're not able to go to hospital it's not like all the other um diseases have gone for vacation since covid19 is here they're just like we're chilling you know they're like they're still here and you know there are restrictions all over so yeah i want to check up on you guys how are you doing please tell us don't be afraid to reach out to us reach out to us on instagram at project smile on facebook at project smile snapchat at project smile and twitter at project smile we will respond to you um yeah but we are keeping you in our thoughts um when i'm filming this it's currently ramadan so you know may allah listen to our doers you know um for those who don't believe in god I know the people who are atheists or agnost- agnostics and it's weird when I tell you like you know the universe has a plan or god has a plan so yeah for those who don't I know you believe in science and science does have a plan science will take care of this in one way or another maybe the disease will mutate to become the least deadliest form it will become so normal maybe we will find a vaccine for this um virus maybe we will find a treatment for this virus all i'm saying is be hopeful during this tough times be hopeful that's all you have hope cling on to it like you're fighting for your life thank you